guys and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to make these cute little cup cozies. This one's got a really cute ladybird button. So it's just got a quick button. Closure. This one doesn't quite fit this cup. But I'll explain that in a minute. So all you're going to need is a button. Any kind of button works as long as you can sew it on you just have to allow for your chain which we'll do that later a mug obviously this one's a bit faded now so it's nice to cover it up I'm using a three millimeter crochet hook and this is a nice ball of DK variegated yarn nice big ball okay so we're gonna do our slip stitch Ooh. Don't know what happened there. And we're going to start our chain. And we need our chain to be as long as our cup handle. So I'm going to chain, how about 10? 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And I'm just going to place my end of my chain against the bottom of my handle. And as you can see, this doesn't quite fit. So I'm going to chain maybe another three. So that will take my total to 13. And then I'm just going to test it again. And as I said, this will be different for every cup you make. I went through the cup cupboard measuring just this, this bit because there's such a difference depending on whether you have a tapered bottom or stuff but it'll work totally with whatever this pattern so that's that's good so there we go mine fits perfectly so I'm going to pop my cup to the side for now <clears throat> and I'm going to chain one extra one okay so we've got our 14, so we're going to single crochet in that second chain. And basically this one's really easy because it's single crochet all the way along and all the way back. So. And what you want, you want to end up with a piece of crochet that is long enough to wrap around your cup. So just going to single crochet all the way to the end sometimes it's a bit difficult to get your crochet hook in on the first round as you know just push it through there we go This, work, this pattern would work with, you know, double crochet and half crochet and stuff. It's a really easy little pattern that's just really nicely uh, adaptable. And don't worry if it starts to curl. The first When I first crocheted this, I was really panicked because it was curling. It will flatten itself out. Once there's two or three rows, it will flatten. You can just give it a tug to straighten it. Once you get to the end of the row, you're going to chain two, turn your work around and you're going to slip stitch into that, you're going to, sorry, my mistake, you're going to single crochet into that first stitch or the last single crochet you made, completely ignoring those two chains, they're just there to for the end. So you're going to go back the other way. Exactly the same, single crochet in all the way along. And periodically you can check against your cup. Once we get to the end of this row, I'll show you show you that.
There we go, and then my last stitch. So all we can do there is do your last single crochet as normal. Do your two chain, which you're going to do on either end. And you're going to turn your work and you can do another row. But before I do that, what you want to do is if you want to check where you are, just pop the end, that first row you started with, against your handle. And that will give you some idea of where, where you're going around. So pause the video now. Carry on doing that until you get to a point where you've got your wrap almost touching the end of your handles on both sides. And we'll come back. Okay, so welcome back. So you should now have a nice long strip. And if we double check with this one, you should have it all the way around your cup and it should just meet at the handles, which is, this one's perfect, so. So. What we're gonna do is, you've done your two chain for your next row and you're gonna single crochet until you get to the middle of the row. So I like to fold mine in half so I can see where the middle row is. So I've already done two stitches, so three, four, five is my roughly my my middle one there. So there's my five single crochet. And now what you're going to do is you're going to chain, I like round about six or seven, but you're going to need to chest it with your button here. So you want to do your chain. So I like to do a, a small section and I like to fold it down and then take your button and make sure you can get it through. So this one for this really cute little flower button is 10. So once you know how big your buttonhole needs to be, you're then going to single crochet into the next stitch. You've done your five, you've, you've done your chain, and you're going to single crochet into the next stitch along. Try and pull that one just that tight, a little bit tighter, just so you know that your loop's nice and sturdy. And then you're going to just single crochet across the end of your work. And what I'm going to do there is I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut the end of my work. And then I'm just going to pull it through and pull it anchor it and pull the thread right through the loop and then I like to go back pulling my my end through my work as usual if you've watched my other tutorials you will know that I'm a bit phobic about my work coming undone when I think I'm happy and it's not going to go anywhere. I'm going to cut that end off too. So now you should have button. Oh. So what we need to do is you need to pop it back onto your mug. And what you want to know is where your button needs to be. So if you can see this here, get my tail thread out of the way, that they both meet. So I'm going to sew my button about midway through that first row. And these ones have got, these buttons have got like quite a nice loop on them, 
so I can really poke them through which makes it a lot easier to sew. Okay, so I'm going to grab my darning needle. I'm going to cut a bit of yarn off. You don't want it too long, but there's nothing more annoying than cutting a piece and then discovering it's not long enough. So I'm just going to thread my darning needle. Apparently today is one of those days where I can't thread a needle. There we go. <clears throat> and all you're going to do is sew through your work as well as the button. Leave a little bit of a tail. You just want to make sure that you're just making that button secure. So obviously you're going to need to be using it to un take the uh, the mug cosy off when you wash your cup. So you just want it secure. So just go through a couple of times. When you don't think it's going to go anywhere, you think it's fairly, you want a bit of give, but you think it's fairly sturdy, just to end it off like you normally would. I'm sure most people who are watching these tutorials can sew a button on, so I'm not giving you a tutorial on that. Then just end end it off. And snip as close as you can to the end. Now the only thing I have to deal with now is at the beginning when we first started our chain we had a tail. So all I'm gonna do I like to wait till the end to do this. But you can do this two or three rows after you've started if you like. I know it annoys, the tail annoys some people. And sometimes I do, if it's, you know, if it's quite a big project and it's getting on my nerves, I will start to do it. But this is a nice little quick project. And when I think it's secured as normal, I'm just going to trim it off. And there you have it. So let's see what it looks like. You just wrap your, your buttonhole around. And there we go. And you can add appliques to this, like crochet appliques and stuff. Um, little flowers and all sorts. But isn't that cute? See, you've revamped that very ugly cup. Or very old battered, you know, that, that cup you always use for that first tea in the morning that's that's become a friend but it's looking a bit battered it's now all nicely covered excellent i hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe